Hello friends! Welcome to this new tutorial for automating manual tasks. This video will be about web scrapping. It is a very interesting technique to grab information for websites, and you can find thousands of tutorials on YouTube on how to do it with JavaScript or Python. This video will be different, as I will share with you a no-code technique using Google Sheets. Following my article about flashcards for language learning, I want to share with you techniques on how to build Anki decks with vocabulary automatically. Therefore, in today's video, I will teach you how to do web scrapping using Google Sheets with an example of scrapping of Chinese vocabulary list from a website. If you are ready, let's go. So, you would like to build your Anki decks to study your vocabulary list of your Chinese class. This can be done for French, Italian, or anything. And you find a website with a list of vocabulary. So here it's for the Chinese exam HSK. It's the first level, so the easiest one. And what we can see here is that you have a list of characters with the pronunciation, the opinion, and you have the translation in English. So it's perfect to create our deck. What we want to do is to be able to extract this information from uh, the website and put it in an Excel file to create our Anki decks. But we want to do it without coding because do doing it with, uh, with Python could be very easy. So our ultimate weapon here will be a Google Sheet. So the, there is a function in Google Sheets that is called uh, import HTML, uh, import XML, sorry, where we can read, we can connect to website and extract the information. So first, let me store the link here. Good. Um, so, if you are not familiar with scrapping, the idea is when your browser is showing uh, a web page like this, you can access to the source code. So, if you're using Google Chrome, you go to Inspect, and for instance, I want to inspect the element I to see where it's located, and then you have access to the source code of the page. And the idea of the scrapping is basically that your function will also receive this source code. And if you can locate the elements you want in the source code, you can extract the information. It's to use this information to be able to extract the Chinese character, the pronunciation and the translation. So let's go. So here, I will use the function import XML. Yeah. The first argument is the link. And then the second argument, so it's what we call XPath, which is basically a way to locate an element inside the, inside the, the code. So here, I will give a link to the to the documentation if you want to learn more how to create a selector. But let's assume that you know that to get the select the the Chinese character, you would like to go to a section TD that has a class is size four, and you want to go inside the A. If we check for this one, it's exactly the same. So let's try. Usually you will have to try, test, if it's not working, try again. So you go on a TD, what you want to say, what you want to, but you have, you may have several TDs. So what you want to say is that you want a TD where the class is containing is size four. So is size 4 let's see what it returns boom 
as you can see, it's extracting the Chinese character and the translation. Why? Because inside the TD, you have one, the, you have the A with the Chinese character, but you also have the, the translation. So what I want to, if I want only to take the Chinese translation, you are, I ask to have only the A. So for this, there is a solution. Come back here. Mm -hmm. You add the slash A. And you see, huh, it's returning the whole page. So what you can see here, oh, oh, why it's not working? Yes. Boom. In the first column, you have the Chinese character. In the third column, you have the pronunciation. And here you have a white space. Probably the white space is here, the break, or the line break. Anyhow, you would be able to remove it later. Now we want the translation. So the translation here is inside the TD. So it's very easy. You go here. So translation. Pinyin. Pinyin. So here in the not on, we can go up. We say we have a T body. Inside the T body, we have a TR. Inside the TR, we have two TD. So the first TD with the class, but uh, actually the translation is not inside. That's why we have an error. And the second TD is the translation. Okay, clear. So what we can do? So we can come back. Let's include the body just in case, you know. Then we have a TR, and then it's the second TD. There is a function for this in the XPath. You just say that it's a second. Let me see. Yeah, perfect. It's working. So I hope it was clear enough. If you're not familiar with scrapping, uh, it may be a bit complicated because you need to get familiar with the XPath, how to locate an element in the HTML. But at least you have the tool to be able to practice. And then you can find other tutorials on how to use, how to create selectors or XPath to find the right element. I hope it was clear enough. If you, don't, if you have any question, feel free to share them in the comment section.